Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be working with color spaces and I'm going to show you how easy it is to change from one color space to another. We're going to be doing it uh, using uh, C++ and also using Python. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, SSH into a Raspberry Pi. And I already created a a folder with uh, necessary files and these are the ones let me clear this and as you can see I have uh, the CMake list uh, text uh, template that we've been using the, let me remove the, the uh, executable I'm gonna run it from scratch Okay, and as you can see, the, the C++ and the, the Python file. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the C++ file. And as you can see, it's including here the necessary uh, libraries here. It's using the namespace, so that way we don't have to be putting CV before each one, like for example, like we don't have to put CV in read or CV CVT color or CV in write. So uh, once you put this line here, you avoid that. Now we're using the new, newer version. I, I tried to show you both uh, the old one, the C API base one, and also the modern one. So so if you find code out there, you know what to do with it. Uh, this one is using the object uh, oriented, the new one. The image in read is, is taking an argument, as you can see here, this car with the pointer, and it's going into the image name, whatever you're putting as an argument. So it's going to go into an image name, and then that image name is going to be decoded, and it's going to become this uh, image variable here. And here is checking to see to make sure that there is uh, data in it, that there's a picture there. And it, it will throw an exception if not. And here we're creating the second object, this first object right here, now the second one. And this one is taking the image that we have here, and is, is, uh, this is the source, which is this one, the destination which is the gray image that we are going to create and the function that is going to do the work with the BGR to gray. Remember in, in uh, OpenCV it's not RGB, it's BGR, blue, green and red. And then it's going to save into a new uh, name which is I, I call it Lena Gray and you need two, two names, uh, name windows here and it's going to go to outer size, whatever the size of the picture is. And it's going to show the images here. Okay, nothing nothing new. So let's run it. This is, by the way, this I'm going to include this in my website, but you can, it's also part of the examples of, of the OpenCV documentation. So you can go there and, 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 and look at it, okay? So let's, uh, let's run it. And uh, let me show you the... DC make, nothing new, name of the project, name of the executable, name of the file, the one that I just showed you, and uh, the uh, the library linker here that is going to link everything together. Okay. And so let's run it. And it's compiling. And it's done. And as you can see, they created all these new files. Now let's make it. It's going to create the executable named color to gray. And this is linking, and it should be there now. As you can see, it's right there. Okay, so now let's run it. As you remember, we have to put the name of the 
of the image that we're working with because it is asking it's waiting for an argument so we gotta do lena jpeg and there you go and it's gonna do the window auto size it's gonna show you the the new one and the original as you can see this is using c plus plus this is the the color one uh, this is the original that we started right here, and this is the gray image that uh, that we created. Okay, so now let's do it using uh, Python. And done. Ls okay now um, color to gray py and in Python more uh, is condensed very uh, few lines of code let me explain a little bit same thing that we're doing before uh, but we, we don't we're not using namespaces here we just we're just putting it in here like we did in the other one and as you can see this is what I was saying we didn't have to do that in uh, in the C++ because we were using the namespace CV okay and also this is a bgr to gray but you can change this I, I will show you how easy it is let me run this one first and by the color to gray pie and as you can see it does the same thing that the c++ file did the gray one right here and uh and the color right here as you can see but like I said you can change uh, into other ones let me show you uh, let's stop in here control C if you want you can change it let's say that you instead of gray you just have to go here and let's say that you want uh, another color let's say let's call it uh, C lab let's do a uh, whoops control C uh, C lab okay and control X so you have many choices I mean that's all you need to do it's just um, change the the ending there into the the other color space or that you may want this one is using c lab and all you need is uh to enter is the capital l a b okay we also have um, other choices here let me close it Okay, and let's do let's do HSB, which is a very popular one. Or a midpoint value for object tracking applications. Uh, HSB Q saturation value. Control X, yes, and run it. And this one will be using HSB. And as you can see, it's right there. Okay, so you can do uh, it. You also in C plus plus, you can also do the same thing. You can change the ending and uh, into the the appropriate the color space that you want to use. And this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please uh, click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.